Today is April the 12th. How should we respond when we're punished? Let's find out together as we read Numbers 14 and 15. Reading through the Bible in a year, today I'd like you to read Numbers 14 and 15. Here in this passage, we have just come off the chapter when the ten scouts returned and gave a bad report of Palestine. They came back and said, uh, we can't take the land. Now, as a result, at the beginning of chapter 14, the people began to cry because they believed that report. They said, if only we had died in Egypt or even here in the wilderness. Why is the Lord taking us to this country only to have us die in battle? Um, Moses and Aaron fall before the Lord. And it's interesting, the Lord comes to Moses, verses 11 and 12. The Lord said to Moses, how long have these people treat me with contempt? Will they never believe me even after all the miraculous signs I've done among them? I will disown them and destroy them with a plague. Then I'll make you into a nation greater, greater and mightier than they are. God offers to Moses, hey, let's wipe them out and I'll start all over with you. But Moses objects, verses 17 to 19. Moses says, please, Lord, prove that your power is as great as you've claimed. You said, the Lord is slow to anger and filled with unfailing love, forgiving every kind of sin and rebellion. He doesn't excuse the guilty. He lays the sins of the parents upon their children. The entire family has affected even children to the third and fourth generations. In keeping with your magnificent, unfailing love, please, Pardon the sins of this people, just as you've forgiven them ever since they left Egypt. The Lord said, okay, okay. Verse 20, I will pardon them as you have requested, but as surely as I live and as surely as the earth is filled with the Lord's glory, not one of these people will ever enter that land. And over the next 40 years, all men above 20 died, except for Caleb and Joshua. Every last one of them died, and it was their children who entered the land of Canaan. Now, the people were being punished. God gave his punishment to them. He said, uh, you will wander in this wilderness for 40 years and every one of you will die, your children will inherit the land. And guess what they did? In verses uh, 39 and 40, when Moses reported the Lord's word to all the Israelites, the people were filled with grief. Then they got up early the next morning and went to the top of the range of hills. Let's go, they said. We realize that we've sinned, but now... We're ready to enter the land the Lord has promised us. Now Moses looks at them and says, you fools. <laughs> Why are you refusing the punishment that God has given? In the punishment, yes, you'll die, but it's over a period of 40 years. Um, life is hard, and most of them were going to die in, of, of natural causes within the normal time that people would die at that period. Life expectancy wasn't much beyond 35. He was just telling them that they would indeed die in the wilderness. Um, now they're saying, okay, we don't like that, so we're going to take the land. And, of course, what happens is they go to take the land, um, Verse 44, the, uh, the people defiantly pushed ahead through the hill country. Even though neither Moses nor the Ark of the Lord's Covenant left the camp, then the Amalekites and the Canaanites who lived in those hills came down and attacked them and chased them back as far as Hormah. <sighs> wow. 
what do you do when you're punished? You accept the punishment. Now in chapter 15, as you read that, you may have wondered, why do they go back to laws about sacrifices at this stage? And I really think the reason they do that is because Moses is reminding the people of how to stay connected to God. Here's the law of the sacrifices repeated. You have rebelled against God. You refuse to go into the land that he invited you to go into. God is now punishing you. But you know what? You can stay connected to God. Here's the way to do that with sacrifices. And uh, at the end of the chapter, something new tassels on your clothing. This reminds you of prayer and of God. Get back in God's graces by staying connected to him. That's how you deal with punishment. Whether the punishment comes from a parent or, or from a, 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 a colleague or from a spouse, accept the punishment, but stay connected. Uh, go beyond the punishment. Learn from the punishment. Stay connected. Like, follow, and subscribe to this devotional on whatever platform you used to listen to it. Email your questions to us at questions at becomehope.com. Tomorrow, we'll answer the question, what do we do when we feel that God is distant? <laughs>